All right, we're very happy to have Shun Wakatsuki from Shinshu University uh, telling us about BV exactness and string brackets. Shun, please. Thank you for introduction and thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. So, so I, I talk about BV exactness and string brackets. Um, so, and this is, um, written in preprint of this. And this is joint work with Katsuhiko Kuribayashi and Takahito Naito and Toshiro Yamaguchi. And, um, uh, this is a plan of um, my talk. And first, um, I'll explain um, background and our re results. And then um, explain rational models of the field space and um, its boil construction. And then um, use it to prove some of our results. And then um, I, I explain some implications concerning VV exactness. And um, for example, um, formality of a space. And finally, if time permits, um, I will explain about examples of VV exact spaces or non-VV exact spaces and some computation of string brackets. And here are some notations. And H star means and the singular cohomology with rational coefficients or coefficients in a field of characteristic zero. And in M denotes uh, one connected space of finite type, and uh, Lm is the free loop space of M, that is um, mapping space from the circle to M, and, and which um, does not preserve, uh, not, not necessarily preserve the base points. And H star S1 is the equivalent cohomology of Lm. And S1 acts on the field space Lm. So we can uh, consider this one. Okay, so let me start um, explaining the background and the results. And first, um, I introduce the VV operator and, and rho is the now it's the map for the S1 action of the free loop space Lm. And by using this, we can define the VV operator delta. And this is um, some abuse of notation, but um, we can define by um, this composition. First, apply the map rho and the in this map on cohomology by rho. And then, and this projection comes from the Kinex isomorphism. And then, and this is isomorphic to the NX part cohomology. So we, we can define by this, but um, yeah, this is um, abuse of notation because um, here M is just a simply connected space. So the cohomology of the free space is not um, not a VV algebra. So this is some um, available notation. And this is just behind by this formula. And this one, um, for this one, we have um, the square of delta is zero. We can easily prove this. And by using this diagram, and, and the key part is that and the second cohomology of S1 is zero, or the square of the fundamental class of S1 is zero. So um, since the square is zero, um, we can consider the cohomology with respect to this operation. But um, before that, we consider the exactness, which is the PV exactness. So um, if the square is zero, um, the kernel contains the image, of course, and, and which is equivalent to this. And um, 
we can easily show that and the unit of the cohomology is contained in the kernel. Uh, of, um, th this is just by the degree reason. And th delta decreases uh, degree by one. So delta one lives in the negative degree, which is zero. And we can show that easy, easily show that um, one is not contained in the image. And so similarly, um, delta restricts to the reduced cohomology of the free group space. And um, uh, but by, by this and the delta itself is not exact, but, but and if we restrict delta to the this cohomology, it it can be exact. And which is the definition of the VV exactness? And means VV exact if the kernel of delta tilde is equal to the image. And, and that is the map delta tilde is exact. And the, the aim of this talk is um, to apply the VV exactness to compute the um, equivalent cohomology of the field space and computation of string brackets. String brackets is are the operation of on the cohomology of uh, equivalent cohomology of the field space. And also, um, um, of course, it is important to consider examples and non-examples of VV exact spaces. So I will give examples and non-examples of VV exact spaces. OK, so. First, and um, I explained the computation of the cohomology of the free loop space, uh, equivalent cohomology of the free loop space. And consider this calibration and, and just for the for construction. And, and by using this projection, um, and this projection induces this map on cohomology. Which is uh, in, in the in other words, and this is a map between this uh, equivariant cohomology. And uh, here we define the uh, reduced equivariant cohomology by the corner of this map. And not that th this is different from the um, usual reduced reduced cohomology of this space, and th this is defined by this. Co-kernel, and then uh, easily we can show that the equivariant cohomology of the field space is iso isomorphic to the direct sum, not, not tensor product, direct sum of the cohomology of the classifying space of S1 and the reduced equivariant cohomology of the field space. This is um, this can be pretty easy because um, um, LM has a fixed point, namely the um, co constant loop is a fixed point fixed point of the circle action. So MP has a section, and so some short exact sequence on of on cohomology splits and. And that splitting is, gives this isomorphism. So um, to to compute and uh, equivalent cohomology, and um, it is uh, it is enough to compute this one because and this is very simple, just a polynomial algebra generated by one element. So enough to compute this, and if M is VV exact, then um, and this reduced equivalent cohomology is isomorphic to the kernel of the VV operator, and reduced version of VV operator. So um, um, we can say that um, the equivalent cohomology can be computed from the 
uh, in if m is VV exact, then um, given cohomology can be computed from the cohomology of the field space and the action of VV operator. And, and in, in other words, um, and the equivalent cohomology is some some and some of uh, cyclic homology, uh, isomorphic to cyclic homology of the um, of and uh, the thing and R zero for M and uh, homology of the free space is isomorphic to the Hoch shield homology. So um, we can um, also say that in, in this case, the cyclic homology can be computed from the Hoch shield homology and the action of delta on it. So, um, I, I think cyclic homology is more difficult than Hoch shield homology. So um, this is useful to compute this one. Okay, next um, I explain the computation of swing brackets and briefly um, review the definition of swing brackets. Um, and the swing bracket is defined um, by using the loop product. And loop product is defined by the composition of this map and this map. And the map comp star is the um, in this map on homology from the map comp, and which is just um, the composition of two loops. Um, which has the common base point. And this space is a space of uh, two loops on M, which have the co common base point. And the uh, map include shriek is, uh, is the shriek map for this inclusion map, um, which comes from the shriek map for the diagonal map. And if M is a manifold or more generally going same space, and the map and the diagonal map uh, has a shriek map. And for for the manifold case, and it is just uh, the just the intersection product for M. And using using this um, this is a pullback diagram of uh, vibration. So. Um, in some sense, we can lift the streak map for diagonal map to the, uh, we can lift the streak map on space spaces to a streak map on total spaces. So this is a definition, this is an explanation of the definition of the streak map. And using this loop product and uh, using sequence, for this vibration and this one, we can define the uh, string bracket in, by this formula. So, um, uh, sorry, um, uh, only in this slide, this only in this page, um, um, I consider the homology of this or something, and and um. So the thing bracket is uh, is an operation on the equivalent homology, and so by using this theorem, we can reduce the thing bracket to the loop product and the VV operator. So um, this equivalent homology is. Some, somehow complicated, but um, we can compute it only from the Hochschild homology together, together with the loop product and the uh, VV operator. So this simplifies computation. 
And next, um, I explain about implications concerning VB exactness. Shun, can I ask a question? Uh -huh. um, in this theorem, um, mm -hmm. yeah, in, in this theorem, where is the sim uh, one connected hypothesis being used? Um, um, since there's no Hochschild homology here. But, um, we use a rational homotopy theory very heavy. Okay. Well, it, um, so for the proof, is in the proof it's used, right? But the statements, um, is uh, it necessary, the one connected hypothesis? Um, or is it just uh, that it makes the proof easier? Uh, sorry, I don't know. But at, at least, um, I think one connected is necessary for this isomorphism. Mm -hmm. but, um, sorry, I, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, so next I'm explaining some implications. Um, again, um, you consider the um, this vibration and and um, consider um, the periodicity map for cyclic homology S. Um, yeah, U is an um, element of the equivalent cohomology, which comes from the generator of the um, cohomology of the crescent space of S1. And the map S is the multiplication of U. So this is a map of degree two, and which is um, called the period periodicity map in cyclic homology. And th this is uh, isomorphic to the negative cyclic homology. So th this is this cohomology is not periodic, but um, this is called periodic periodic map for cyclic homology for since uh, and for some variant of cyclic homology it is and uh, uh, it is periodic by this map. And um the BV exactness is equivalent to the triviality of the map S. And I think and this proposition is interesting because VV exactness is defined on the, the cohomology of the free of space. And on the other hand, and this map S is defined on the equivariant cohomology of the free of space. So they they live in uh, in different spaces, but in fact they are equivalent. Or in other words, and this is in the Hochschild homology, and this is in the cyclic homology. And um, moreover, there are um, many implications concerning VV exactness, and and here just I introduce them and I and later I explain more precisely. And if M is formal or more generally M admits positive weights, it is VV exact and which is given to the triviality of S. And moreover, um, we introduced um, higher VV exactness and um, namely our VB exactness, which is equivalent to the triviality of um, R, R times iteration of the map S. And um, of course, um, it is important to examples and non-examples, uh, but by, by, uh, by this implication, um, Many spaces are maybe exact because there are many formal spaces and 
much more spaces with uh, admitting positive weights. But um, I think it is somehow difficult to find an example of non-BV non exact space because um, um, many, many spaces admit positive weights and um, spaces and not admitting positive weights are, I think, very complicated and very hard to compute by hand. So here, um, um, uh, a co computer program is very useful to find such example. So um, non-BV exact space, non-BV exactness is equivalent to the non-triviality of the periodicity map. And um, since this is an um, important map, I think, um, such examples should be found before, but as far as I know, it is not found, at least in our case, I mean, um, graded, uh, connected and graded, and national case, I think it is known. And this is, an, this is a new example, I believe. I explained in such example rate and which is very complicated. Okay, so next uh, I'll explain rational models and, and using it and I'll give some proof. Um, yeah, I have some um, the, the review of cyber models. For one connect space M and, and minimal cyber model of M is uh, which VD and it V is a great mod module and which V is a uh, free free um, graded commutative algebra that is um, polynomial polynomial algebra. Um, on the even part of V for a symmetric algebra of, of V even, and with tensor product with um, exterior algebra on the on the odd part. And HVD is a differential grade algebra. So this is a differential for this algebra and and the minimality means and D of V is contained in the um, decomposable part or of wedge V. And, and um, wedge V D is quasi isomorphic to the singular cochain algebra of M. And precisely, I, um, I should consider the commutative approximation of system M, but um, I, I, um, here, I don't care about such detail. And, and M is formal if its cyber model is quasi-isomorphic to the cohomology of M. So uh, in, in this case, um, we, can, we can recover from, it, from uh, recover its cyber model from its cohomology. So this is somehow very simple case. And um, HVD admits positive weights, or sometimes I say simply M admits positive weights if um, v, v admits as a grading satisfying this. So um, the differential and D satisfies D of V N, N is the usual degree. This satisfies, and so the differential is a map of degree one, and the D degree, D raises the degree by one, but, but, and, but for, for weights, and this is for weights, and the map D and preserves the weights. So um, positivity is very important 
because any any Sullivan model um, admits weights and uh, giving um, given zero for any element. So any element is weighted and defining weight by zero for any element, it is a weight for any Sullivan algebra. So positivity is important. And um, it is known that if M is formal, then M admits positive weights. And here is some, here's an example. And um, if M is a homogeneous space or homogeneity and a space with two stage Sullivan model, and then M and, and or always such M admits positive weights. But um, it's not necessarily formal. Okay, so next, and um, explain the Sullivan model of the Fugit space. Um, so let wedge VD is a Sullivan model of M. Then we can define this and uh, Sullivan model and this Sullivan algebra. And then this is a Sullivan model of the Fugit space. So we can compute the cohomology of the free space from the cyber model of M itself. Here, um, this is defined as follows. And Viva is just a shift of V. So, and AS is a derivation of the V minus one, which sends the element V. And here, a V, uh, uh, and here I use this notation. For, for an element V, um, we can uh, rewrite the corresponding element in this by uh, V bar. And um, the max S, the derivation S, changes V to V bar and V bar to zero. And by using this, we can define the de and derivation D, and which is the differential for the differential of the algebra. Um, we send v to d of v, and this is um, um, uh, confusing, but um, dv, and this d comes from the um, differential on the cyber model of m, and since v is an element of capital V, um, this is uh, defined, already defined, and, and this d sends v bar to minus s d v. Um, and here d v is the same as this one and apply this derivation to that element. So th this defines a derivation and this is a cyber model of Lm. And so we can compute the cohomology of the free space by this Sullivan model, and then the VV operator is and translated to this map HS in this and the in this map on cohomology by S. And then we can also restrict S to the reduced part. And in, in using this and um, VV exactness is equivalent to the exactness of HS tilde. And similarly, we can define the model of the Borel construction. Yeah, we had an element of degree two, um, which is a cocycle, but um, the differential is um, different from the previous one because D of V has this this term and the product of this element u and v bar. So and and the differential of v bar is the same as the previous one. And then um this Sullivan algebra is a Sullivan model of the Borel construction. And this can be explained as follows. Um, and this is the cyber model of LM. This is the model of the crescent space. And this is a cyber model of the space. And uh, vibration is, or fiber bundle is uh, some kind of twisted product. 
and and this is uh this this is also a twisted tensor product and um, um, i mean and um, this term twist the tensor product and um for for this um uh, uh, we can and um, we have this decomposition and this corresponds to the decomposition of the equivalent cohomology and previously I stated. Uh, equivalent cohomology is isomorphic to the direct sum of the cohomology of the questioning space and the and reduced equivalent cohomology. And um, so you have to complete this part and this part is and quasi isomorphic to the kernel of S tilde. S tilde is a map on the model of the free space. So, and this is um, this, and there is an inclusion from this to this part, and this gives a isomorphism on cohomology. And so it is enough to compute this one um, and to compute the equivalent cohomology. Um, and this part is very easy. Uh, so you have to compute this. And this is isomorphic to this. So you have to compute this one. So, um, and, and we can, uh, if M is, a, M is VB exact, we can compute this and the cohomology of this one by, by using the, uh, some double complex. So here, um, AL, ALP is the length P part for V bar. And then um, we have this um, double complex or complex of complexes. So uh, each LP is uh, complex and S tilde is a uh, chain map between them. And then um, we can easily show that this sequence is exact. Mm. And the cohomology of it, the cohomology with, with respect to D is, um, this is also exact. And this is almost a definition of the BV exactness. Um, since this map is an uh, equivalent to the uh, VV operator. <clears throat> so um, we also have exactness on the, uh, on the co-boundary, the mo module of co-boundary. Or uh, we also have exactness on cycle, co-cycles, -co but um, we only need this. And, um, and and the exactness of this one is um, equivalent to this equation and and this implies the injectivity of of this map so um and this is just a proof of the injectivity but um, and, and we omit proof of subjectivity but, and and by this proposition, um, we can compute um, the cohomology of the kernel S tilde by the kernel of the H S tilde. So this proves the proposition, um, and th this proposition, H S tilde is equivalent to delta tilde. <clears throat> so, um, this is the proof of this. So we have finished the co uh, computation of the equivalent cohomology in VV exact case. Okay, next, um, I explain um, implications for the VV exactness. And here is uh, uh, the diagram for implications. And S is a map. Uh, we can also describe S in terms of cyber models. And um, we have that 
um, MSVV exact if if and only if S is zero. And, and this is um, proved by um, describing S in terms of um, this, this one. <clears throat> and um, it is described as a, it is equivalent, to, uh, equivalent to the connecting homomorphism of this exact sequence. And this is this should be image of S tilde, but and since S is S tilde is exact, um, this is and we can write image and we can replace image with the kernel. And then um the this equation is the key to prove the this this implication. And moreover, um if uh, which we D as a positive weight, then S is zero and equivalently um, M is VV exact. And this can be proved um, by a similar way to the formal case, which is done by um, VJ. And um, there's also some spectral sequence and um, Concerning VV exactness, and recall the this complex of complexes, and an complex of, of complexes is an equivalent to the double complex, and we can consider the total chain complex of this one. And not not that um total complex considers and um, both both differentials, but um if we consider the um only D, it is um, vertical differential, then this is uh, um, equivalent to the model of the field space. And um, by the exactness of S tilde, um, we have the cohomology of this total um, complex is zero. And this is, um, this is because, um, Mm, this follows from the spectral sequence with respect to this filtration. And, and consider the other spectral and consider the other filtration and this. And then we have a spectral sequence uh, which converges to zero by this lemma. And the E1 term is um, isomorphic to the cohomology with respect to the vertical differential, which is an isomorphic to the cohomology of the previous phase. And D1 is uh, equal to the VV operator. So, um, so um, VV exactness is equi equivalent to the triviality of the E2 term because D1 is equivalent to the VV operator. And D1 is exact if and only if D2 is zero. So um, we can give a generalization of VV exactness. And it means R VV exact if R, R plus one term is zero. So oh, and VV exactness is equivalent to uh, is equivalent to the one VV exactness. Then and this is equivalent to the triviality of R, R times iteration of the map S or uh, equivalently and the multiplication of U to the power of R. So uh, R VV exact if and only if this is zero. And finally, um, I give examples and non-examples. And this is a very com complicated um, um, equation. And possibly this is too small to see in your screen. But um, please, uh, if you are interested, um, please read our paper, our preprint. 
and 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 consider uh consider the unit tangent bundle for the um, six dimensional sphere and consider the map from s3 times s3 to s6 and um, collapsing the three skeleton and define the space m by the pullback of this uh, fiber bundle um, um, but by the map f then um, we can um, consider uh, we can um, compute the cyber model of m which is um, using this and there are three generators which is non-trivial differential and and by by computing must say products and we can prove m is non-formal but um m is vv exact because and um, this um, this cyber model or m uh, admits positive weights and by defining weights by um, x and y has weight one and z has weight two and then um, we can compute the equivalent cohomology by using our theorem. So we can compute this from the cohomology of the free state. And this can be done by hand. This is um, a little complicated, but this can be done. And by using this, we can compute the dual of the thing bracket. Uh, as for this is this is some formula, but uh, very very complicated to explain uh, now. Uh, this is an example of computation of single bracket. And next, um, I explain non dv exact space. Um, first, um, recall an example by. Um, Arkovitz and Lepton. Um, and this is this is also very complicated. But um what's the Cyber algebra of this one? There are um, six generators for this. They have degrees and 10, 12, and these. And the differential of these is defined by this. X1 and X2 are co cycle, and by one Y2, Y3, the differential of Y1, Y2, Y3 is written by X1 and X2, and the differential of Z is this. And this is very complicated, but and, and since and this is a sum of and these terms, this and this gives a duration of the degrees of uh, these, and, and in particular, uh, uh, more precisely, um, the degree of this element is must be equal to the degree of this and the degree of this. So, and 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 by and so um, the degrees of the generators must be. 10, 12, and these. There are no, 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 no other choice for and this, this, this cyber algebra. And then, and this is elliptic. And I mean, and this is, and this, this has a finite dimensional cohomology. And with the dimension of that, and the degree of the top. top Top class is and this, this number, and um, it, it is very important that um, this does not admit positive weights, because um, if a cyber algebra or a space admits positive weights, then um, it is VV exact. So um, we have to consider um, spaces in which does not admit positive weights to find non vv exact space. Then um, I 
And I computed the cohomology of the free root space and the action of the VV operator on it by using a computer program, of course. And this has six generators. So the fiber model of the free root space has 12 generators, and it is too complicated to compute by hand. I think it is almost impossible for for human. And so I use a computer program. Then um, I, I found that um, this is not VV exact. So um, non-VV exactness means that and the dimension of the kernel of the VV operator is not equal to the that of the image. So they are different. One is different from zero and similar to this. And moreover, um, we can see that the difference of these degrees are three, and and this is also three. And there is a relation here, and the differential d two, and and I introduced some spectral sequence here. And, and the differential D, D2 of this spectral sequence um, sends the generator of this space to the generator of this space. And here, um, S theta is um, a, a map of degree minus one, and D is a map of degree one. So this is some, somehow, um, uh, this has some somehow strange degree. So the map D2 and uh, decreases degree by three, very, and looks like very strange, but and this thing to this. Shun, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, in, the, in the previous example where you compute the string bracket, uh -huh. the dual, yeah. um, how do you, how do you compute the, the bracket? In other words, how do you incorporate Poincare duality? Is there, a, is there a rational homotopy type model for the string bracket in terms of the Sullivan model? And yeah, and we can compute the, uh, so yeah, there's a model for, and, and the root product in terms of and rational homotopy theory or Sullivan models. Okay, so and then you just apply the the yeah, maps right. to the long exact sequence. Huh? Th then you just apply the maps in the long exact sequence to obtain the bracket. And you mean the Gissing sequence? Yeah, exactly. And yeah. no, no, no. Um, we can compute the string bracket by by this. So we we don't need we don't need the Gissing sequence. Just the root product and the uh, and VV operator. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay. I, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is easier than considering exactly this one. Okay, good. And then you, uh, you somehow have to use Poincaré duality, right? Yeah, and this is it is encoded in this map, and Poincaré duality. So um and, and yes, yes, the yes. trick map for the diagonal and the uh, intersection product is defined by the Poincare duality. Mm -hmm. So, um, and this is a rift of the strict um, intersection product. So, the Poincare right. duality is encoded in this map, and there is a way to compute it in cyber in terms of cyber models. And I see. Yeah. You, you do and um, fix and Harpe and Toma. Yeah. Uh, uh, or six and coma. So yeah, I, I forgot that they wrote many papers. Yeah, I think I think it's yeah. it's that one. Yeah. Um, so um, I should uh, I, I stop and this is there are two only two. So um and um uh, two um. Here we can prove that on non-VV exactness by taking 
considering the fundamental class. So this is a dimension of this space. And, he, and here is the fundamental class. And we can show that the differential of uh, D2 of the fundamental class is non zero by taking this very complicated element. Of course, th this is found by um, using some computer program, which, uh, and th this program uh, uh, is um, developed by me and which can be used to compute, um, I think, compute many things in rational homotopy theory, including cyber models and cyber model for field states and, and many other things. But uh, I, I found this by using a computer, but we, we, we can uh, prove that um, this element satisfies this and this by hand. Anyway, um, th this is not really exact, but um, uh, um, we don't know. Um, this is R VV exact for for some R. Um, we know this is not VV, uh, not one VV exact, but we don't know for higher R. And finally, um, I, I give some problems for this, and we we show feel that that um positive weights, uh, admitting positive weights implies VV exactness. So the the converse holds or not, or we'll find some example, a uh, counter example for this. And the second one is um, so, um we have non vivid space, but um, we don't know any example which is R VV exact, but which is not R minus one VV exact. And so, um, um, non vivid space is already very complicated. So I think it is um, very difficult and very com complicated to such space. And um, also for any space, um, it, it is RVV exact for some R or not. I think uh, I want to consider these problems, but not 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 yet. Okay, and I I stop here and thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? I have uh, some questions. Um, mm -hmm. So first, in these examples of non-BV exacts, uh, mm -hmm. I, I guess what you can what you obtain is actually a rational homotopy type, yeah. right? Uh, are do you know if these are represented by manifolds? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Um, of course, uh, there is some space, and um, because right, uh, there's a rational for, homotopy uh, type, exactly. Yeah. But, so, but I don't know if it's represented by a manifold. Right. So is uh, is it possible? Do you know any examples of manifolds that are not BB exact? No, nah, I don't know. Um, that might be a good question, right? Yeah. Thank you. I should consider that. Yeah. And and my other question was the um, mm -hmm. have you tried to study or compute um, the Lebi algebra? I mean the co bracket operation. Uh, yeah, and um, co bracket. For example, uh, on the cohomology of the Kassang space. No, no, no um, on. On homology, uh, in equi this the string bracket. Um, there's also a string co bracket on homology, um, on equivariant homology, uh -huh. which defines a Lebi algebra structure on equivariant homology, reduced equivariant homology. Uh, I was wondering if you have tried to compute that using these no, methods. No. Oh, okay. I should write that. 
Yeah. That's that's yeah. That's an interesting operation uh -huh. as well. Usually harder to to compute and to handle than the okay. string bracket. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? All right. Well, if not, so I'm going to thank on behalf of everyone again. Yeah, you, sh you should be very tired soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at, uh, I'm at 3 p. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, uh, Shun, again for agreeing to give this talk. It's it's um very interesting. I'll send you some email uh, about some ideas of how to use this further that I, that I've uh -huh. had. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye.